Hey guys, welcome to another QPython 3 tutorial. Now in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about notifications. Now what are notifications? Notifications are basically certain pop-ups that tells us what is happening in our devices and how it can inform us that we're about to perform a specific function or a message gets in from that the terminal is running or something is running in the background or you should do something it basically informs us it notifies us so now you can see here if i drag down from this stop here that there are no notifications now watch what happens when i open on this editor boom there's a notification here now it says that we have the keyboard option to change keyboard of course i have only one keyboard so i can't change so now i'm going to be showing you guys how to create a similar function like this now because when we click on this it's, you can see that it does something now i'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually create functions using stupid python notifications so let's get started so let's import the android helper module okay now since it's imported let's create a simple variable and let's call this um android helper android now we've done this we've created a simple variable that does this specific function and method and let's head down and let's create a notification code so let's call this notify now inside of this notification code we're going to be writing a notification code that does the notification for us so let's call the notify and this is what we need but before that we need to pass in the droid the droid dot notify and then we pass in our parentheses. Now the droid dot notify on default takes two parameters. That's it. One and two. The first one is this, the second one is this. Now we can type in mobile jumbo code or whatever we want, but I prefer to use a variable. So let's create a variable and the first one let's call it title. And the title is gonna be something like uh, let's say let's give it a simple name like um youtube okay and let's give it a message and the message we're going to give it something like um let's subscribe to techman's channel okay that's that so now we can pass in the title and the message down at this bottom here. Let's get out of this and let's pass in the title. And as for this side, let's pass in message. Okay, now let's save our code and let's run. Now take note at the top here, you see something pops up and gives us the output that says YouTube, let's subscribe to Techmon's channel. Now when we click on this, basically nothing happens I'm gonna close out of this I'm gonna show you why now I told you guys that the droid identify takes in two parameters the title and the message on default but we can also pass a function as the third parameter so let's do that let's create a simple function at the top here and to create a function we can define function let's define a function and this function we're gonna call this um, let's say show name okay and let's just give it something really simple let's call this um, print mm, let's say my name is Desmond okay so let's add the function down here copy this and pass it this down here let's save our code and let's run now you see the notification has popped up drag it down click on this and it says my name is Desmond and that's how you can pass functions inside of this now what if we want to pass in links like actual links for example how would we do that so let's erase this off and this time instead of the function name we're going to create a variable and let's call this um, link to my 
channel. Okay, and inside of this variable, we're going to call in my channel link. So it's really simple HTTPS this, and then we'll say youtube.com slash c slash segment. Okay, and now let's copy this variable name and let's paste it at this part where we have the function. So now we've pasted this, let's save our code and let's run. The notification pops up, drag down, and watch what happens. Boom, it takes us to my YouTube channel. Now, once you're there at my YouTube channel, you can see the list of videos I have programming videos, tech videos, gaming videos, and you can also subscribe here and that's that you subscribe so that's all for this video guys be sure to leave a like subscribe and of course i'm going to copy this code to the q python 3 app and see if everything works fine so i'll be back in a moment so i'm here at my q python 3 app and i'm going to test out this code for you let's save our code and let's run now notice here it gives us the same notification drag down run and boom we have our qpython3 app running links for us through notification panel on our window that's all for this video guys thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time